Welcome back to the Chicken Coop Studio. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out this. My ultra lightweight studio in a box that I can take with me and use when I wanna keep my supplies light. I can carry everything that I need with me. Pallet knives, brushes. There's a place that a wet panel can can fit right into the lid of the box. This is the lightest painting setup that I use. I use this when I'm in a city or anytime that I just don't wanna be carrying too much stuff with me. I don't even need a tripod. I just hold this in my arm. I can very easily sketch and paint whatever I see. I'm gonna get into the box today. I'm gonna to show you everything about how this box went together. But before we get into all that, let's go and make a little painting. back to the chicken coop studio so I have the box here with me and let's just go over some of its features first of all here is the little painting from out in the field made it home safely because it traveled in this panel carrier but there is a stepped separator that will hold your panel while it's wet long enough to bring it home. Going inside the box, the first thing that we see is the pallet. This pallet holds the panel in place. There's a slot right here at the top of the pallet that the panel slides into. And it's at about a 45 degree angle. I knew that I wanted the pallet to sit at a 45 degree angle and not just be straight up and down. I went to the hardware store and I found a piece of molding stock that's cut at a 45 degree angle. I then cut two spacers. These spacers were cut from the exact same wood that I make my panel from. So they're the exact same thickness as my panel. And then I attached a pallet holding strip in front of that. I screwed the whole thing together and I screwed that to the top of the pallet. It works great. It holds your pallet right where you want it to be. And I also attached a pallet extension to the bottom of my pallet. When I have my thumb through the pallet and I'm just using it, I have a little bit extra space and fold it up. This does not get into my piles of paint. There is room for all of your tubes of paint. And there's also room for brushes, pallet knives, pencils anything else that you might want to paint. I am using a limited palette when I'm working with this box. I have white, lemon yellow, cadmium orange, an acridone red, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, and then on the cool side of the palette, I just have three colors, diox violet, phthalo blue, and phthalo green. So it's a limited palette. It's not more than 10 colors, so I keep all my paints, my palette knives, and all that enclosed in the box. The box closes with just two really simple latch closers. You saw me riding my one wheel earlier with the box. It's never exploded open or anything like that. I carry some things on the outside of my box as well. Here I have my painting solvent, which it's kind of nice to have a little bit of solvent out in the field. This is actually Echo Solve, a soy based paint solvent. 
So I'll do a video about that sometime soon. I have attached an extra tube of white to the outside of my box. And then over here I have some painting medium. So all I have to do is unhook the strap and I have easy access to all the things that I'm carrying outside the, pu the push hide box. So I simply feed the strap through the rags, re-clip it, and then I'm ready to go. There's not a lot of room inside, but I can get everything that I need out in the field in this box. The box is available pre-built on jerrysartorama.com. It doesn't have the panel holder built into it, and obviously I've made a couple other modifications to it, but I hope I was clear in this video and helping you guys see how I made my little thumb palette box. And so I, I like the thumb palette with the, I don't even know what to call it. I love the palette that holds the panel better than I like using any sort of a thumb box or anything like that. Lids of boxes can oftentimes blow shut, but that panel holding strip idea that I went over is actually pretty strong and holds your panel quite securely. Guys, thanks for letting me share that with you. As always, from the Ching Coop Studio, thanks for sticking with me. Let's do this again soon. Go outside, make a little six by eight painting. Let me know how it went. All right, guys, see you soon.